the first thing is connect the first one to CRO and then we have a power supply uh, the connections will be already done you don't have to make any changes in there it will be set to default values uh, we have a repeller and uh, it should be at the maximum and then we beam should be at the minimum and uh, you have to turn on HD first and then vary the uh, rest of the things uh, you have to keep on decreasing the repeller and then you will set the you will get the values displayed there uh, it must be the maximum value so the first thing is you need to keep the repeller the maximum then you turn over the to the volt section or the capacitor section the current section uh, for now the first thing is what you're gonna do is the beam uh, you should just vary the beam and set the current under 20 millivolts uh, between 40 to 20 that's fine doesn't matter then you have to change the volt section and keep it to 230 volts and then you're going to get the square wave output just like as shown in the next video and here we go we have a frequency down here and this is how we turn on the HD there's some value uh, it doesn't matter what value you're going to take so let's just keep that and I'm gonna vary some of them so now you can see that the current has been set to 0.09 so it's working properly there's no problem there's no error and now we are setting the voltage to using the beam we're going to set it for like 230 volts until you get uh, the square wave uh, now I'm using the frequency the rotor like frequency thing there's a frequency meter keep on changing it and when there's a value all of a sudden change at the C or okay there as you can see uh, we're going to get the square wave yes we have the square wave square wave and just note down the value of what you got there now as you can see just to uh, note down the peak to peak value as well and there it goes let us increase a bit you can either use the repeller or you can use a frequency meter to change off the values and now this is the maximum value what we achieved then we're going to change this thing we'll use the carriage the sliding carriage thing the first thing is d1 what you get when it's at the maximum level that is d1 now when you keep increasing it going to decrease and then all of a sudden there's a maximum value again this must be your d2 and as you can see this is how it looks actually looks like zero is the coinciding point you can see 13.5 there sorry for the bad quality but that's it it's 13.5 something around you have to always Point six for this reading. Okay, 
it was 1.6. And whatever we have found out in the VSWR by taking voltage max and uh, voltage minimum ratio, that and this approximately should be same. But uh, practically we are not getting that. It may be 0.2 or 0.3 difference. Okay. And whatever the power, maximum power at this particular point, that is 1.6 or something is what now? So whatever the power is there, you have to read. That is a, a red scale. That is also a normal scale. So what? And this range it is 60 dB plus of this particular line. That is, it is almost 4.85. So 60 plus 5 is nothing but the maximum power. 65. Ah, yeah. Dance that trip. This is an introduction. Oi, my, my.